When Dave Clark wrote a book about his misspent youth as a criminal, he intended to warn people against crime. But after penning his autobiography, the 65-year-old former Farron College lecturer decided to reach more people he needed to change format. So he teamed up with a former student band and has now turned it into a punk opera which gets its world premiere at King's Theatre Southsea next month. The book, Converted on LSD Trip, tells the tale of Dave's life growing up and committing crime in Aylesbury before he moved to Fareham in 1988 and was written after his criminal brother, two years his elder, also converted. Even a year locked away in Dover Borsal in 1967 did not make Dave stop his life of crime and it was only what he described as a bad trip on LSD whilst watching the film Easy Rider in 1970 that changed his life. He claims that moment God saved him and that key moment forms the focal point of his book and is the central flank of the opera Borstal Boy, which is at King's Theatre on Saturday, April the 26th. As we chat in a box at the theatre, Dave looks round this grand old place and says, I really can't believe that we get the chance to put on our opera in this wonderful building. Having the chance to put it on here gives my life story mainstream credibility. He adds, the stories in my book are suitable to punk. There's a strong message of hope and deliverance and that life can end well. Even though I was involved in crime, I want good to come out of it. I want to teach people not to mock religion either. Look at how many people benefit from it. I'm only telling the story because I want good to come out of it. And I'm not doing it to tell of my life because it's rubbish. There's no benefit in crime, there's no glory, and you end up in jail with a criminal record, and once you have a criminal record, it's with you for the rest of your life. Looking back at the moment which changed his life and has led to the opera Dave says, I gave LSD to four of my friends that night in January 1970, and we went to see the film Easy Rider at the old Odeon in Aylesbury. I got the horrors and paranoia and was frightened of killing myself. I cried out to Jesus, please help me. And at that moment, peace came upon me and I heard his voice speak saying, Dave, I'm with you. You've been searching for a long time. I turned my life around that night. The writer hopes that seeing the actors perform his story will appeal to a wider audience. He continued, there are many ways that people can turn their lives around, but they need help. But I realise that people simply don't read books because they're not a quick fix. I didn't know how to get this story out, but then decided that the way forward was to turn it into a punk rock opera. After the 1970 conversion, it took Dave a year to work up the courage to admit to the police to a three-year career of undetected crime and handed himself over to the police. But when he appeared before the magistrate's court to confess the details of the 24 crimes, the local newspaper ran the headlines converted on LSD trip and reported the details of his multiple crimes for which he was not sentenced. It is the coverage of that court case which gives the book its title along with 12 classic moments in his journey from crime to conversion to preacher that he has selected for the opera. In addition to his conversion and subsequent confession he includes the time when he stole several cars, speedboat engines, garage equipment, road trailers, compressors and a 24 by 44 foot builder's shed and the refusal of the former principal of Fairham College to write a forward to his book. It was with the help of a former student the punk opera has taken shape. Dave says punk in itself is a means of communication and it's underrated. So it's really like a punk machine, like a stage where we perform, like a platform or a pulpit, and we'll teach through the music. It's the means of expressing feelings. 
a means of release of pent up and screwed up emotions, but punk is a means of expressing that. After the premiere of Borstal Boy at King's Theatre, Dave hopes it will be performed in the prisons around the country. After his conversion, Dave became a preacher and all but lost touch with his brother Michael. And in 1995, he heard in a news bulletin from ITN at the 10 o'clock news by Trevor MacDonald that Michael had been arrested in the Philippines for a crime which he never did. And not wanting to give up on his brother, he travelled to the Philippines and helped his jailed sibling have his own religious awakening. The pair then told their stories to hundreds of inmates in the Philippines and they wrote their book, Trojan Warriors, which has been distributed in prisons worldwide. He says, My brother died of TB the year before his release. The only consolation for me is that he too had turned from crime to Christ and turned his life round. Press release. The debut performance of Borsal Boy at King's Theatre has been postponed due to production problems.